Welcome to Drawing a Stack Elevation Part 2 by yours truly, Edward Logan. What we're looking at here is a fully drawn stack elevation. Uh, we're going to break down piece by piece here, but we have a, a three-story building with a basement and a number of variety, a number of different fixtures in the building. We're going to break it down. Uh, what you're going to notice right off the bat is it is a separate system, separatory, separate sanitary, separate storm going out the building, as well as a, all the downspouts, all the rain collected off the roof are being drained onto the ground. So everything being done here as to per current code in Ontario. If we look at our lower basement here, we have a washing machine, clothes washer here on the left-hand side of the basement. It has this little black hose that comes with the machine that's attached, the dump hose. And what we're doing is we're dumping this into this red pipe here, which is our stand pipe for our, our clothes washer, our washing machine. Um, and the stand pipe goes into a trap, into a fixture uh, drain, trap arm, going across here and then 45ing and then into a Y into the stack. It has a back in back vent, individual vent coming off of it, off the horizontal, which will carry up into the upper level. Also in our basement, just right of our washing machine there, we have a floor drain. Our floor drain is uh, labeled as three inch with a trap seal primer, three little lines. Trap seal primer is three eighths inch minimum ID. Our fixture drain, minimum 450 millimeters. And our fall, is less than or equal to the pipe size. So it comes out here, attaches in on the horizontal part of the building drain, upstream of the building drain. At the very end, of course, is the stack, the main stack. It's at least going to be three inches. So it covers all the requirements for being unvented. So there is no venting, no green lines coming off it because it doesn't need to be vented because it covers all four parts of the code. Also on the right-hand side of our basement, we have a laundry tub, laundry tray. It's a two-compartment deal, so it has the outlet on the right-hand side going into a 90, into a TY, which is joining up on the on the inlet side. The second compartment going through the trap together with a little line representing our clean-out and going into his trap arm over into a TY and down and then tying into the horizontal part of the building drain. Off the top is a continuous vent. It's an individual continuous vent for the fixture because it's coming off the vertical portion. And that is our vent for a laundry tray. And it will continue up in the building when we get into the next floor. Just to point out on our sanitary, before it leaves the building, on the left-hand side, we have the Y45 combination going up to the floor. So it's our four-inch clean-out as per code for the sanitary building sewer. On right beside, we have another four-inch clean-out as per code for the, sorry, the storm um, building sewer. So Y45 into the pipe that cleans the sanitary building sewer on the outside of the building. If we go up the rest of the storm building drain back into the building, we'll see we have another four-inch clean-out that cleans out the storm building drain inside the building. Um, before that, we have a backwater valve that goes up to the ground there so we can access it through the access panel. And this is protecting our foundation from any backup or any flooding that comes back into the storm for the municipal sewer and uh, from flooding our foundation drain. Up to the next level we go. First floor on left-hand side, we have a two compartment sink. Again, from the start of the left-hand side, we come out the inlet into a 90, into a TY, which is the inlet portion that connects the second part of the compartment of the sink, through a trap with a line going through it for a clean-out, a union trap. On the way out of the trap, we have immediately a clean-out as per code for the cleaning of the trap arm, which is going to be potentially full of grease. Before it gets all the way to the stack, we do have an individual back vent coming off of it, it dot dot dash dash right above the flood level room of the kitchen sink and then reconnects in with the vent coming down from the basement coming up from the basement for the drain of the laundry machine and they join together at this point they become a branch vent on the other side of, of that same floor we have a floor drain with our three little dashes it's got our trap goes into our horizontal of our water closet 
it has our separate vent coming off the top of it, back vented, dot, 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 really high up. And then it joins in with the vent coming from the basement, which was for the laundry tray. And then eventually the, the continuous vent coming off the vertical portion of the lavatory, domestic lavatory, which is our continuous vent for the other three fixtures, joins in with it together and carries on up to the next floor. Our water closet, vertical leg 90 over Y45 into the stack. Again, the lavatory trap with a little line through it for our union to have our clean up by code into our TY going down all red there, 45 and then into the Y. This becoming our, our wet vented portion. Um, in the horizontal, sorry, the vertical portion, the wet vent here, we'll see that the bathtub with the circle for the overflow, the drain through the trap, brake line behind the water closet, and then ties in uh, 45Y into the vertical portion of the wet vent. And now we have all three fixtures tied together, water closet, bathtub, and lavatory, um, and they're all sharing the same continuous vent. Moving up to the second floor, we have a three compartment sink, much like our two compartment sink. We have our outlet into a 90, with another outlet into a 90, into a Y, which continues into a TY from the outlet from the third sink. They all join it together now through a trap with a line through it for a union trap as per code. Then a clean out just on the outside of the outlet uh, as per code for the kitchen sink. And just before it goes into the stack, you'll see we have a back vent coming off again and tying about the full level room into the rest of the branch vent and carrying on its way up to the next level, the third level of the house. On the right-hand side, we have the floor drain, dash, 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 trap seal primer, solid trap. And this time we're bringing a cross brake line behind the water closet and tying it 45Y into the um, vertical portion of the laboratory drain. So we're wet venting the, the toilet and the floor drain through the sink here into our continuous vent, which is just above the full level rim, and then connects into the branch vent that was coming up from downstairs and now heading up to the third floor. And again, there's a line on the trap of the laboratory per code. We need to have at least a three plug, three quarter plug clean out. We have a union trap, so we meet all the requirements there. Now moving up to the upper level, the third floor, the third floor, you'll notice that then the left-hand side, we'll see our vent coming up from the downstairs, dash, 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 connecting into a header, which we will have the continuous vent from the three fixtures for the water closet, the lavatory, and the bathtub, joining in with it, as well as the top of the stack. That stack turns into dry as well. There's nothing going down to it, so that becomes a header. They all join in together and eventually move over to uh, the vent pipe that's leaving the building up to open air, and it will be joined with the other ones on the other side. But again, three-piece bathroom, bathtub tied into the vertical section of the lavatory, lavatory tied into the horizontal section of the water closet, and they're sharing that vent. On the right-hand side, we have the floor drain. The floor drain has the trap seal primer through the trap, has its own independent vent, which is going to go up and tie to a header. And then we're going to have the drain tie into the stack itself. The two pieces left over, the water closet and the lav, the water closet is being vented through the lavatory with a continuous vent, which joins in with the vent from the, the uh, floor drain, which eventually ties into the vent from the other stuff from down below and the lower floors into a header and then out to open air. On top, you'll notice the black lines here. This black lines are referring to the flashing that's applied around the vent terminal. Um, just as a reminder, we need to have 150 millimeters off the roof up in height, and the flashing size needs to be 500 by 500 millimeters in size. Lastly, I just want to look at the our downspout. So we have a slope roof goes into a U-shaped gutter, into the downspout pipe, which goes over in a 45 to get it too close to the wall for us to mount it, then down the wall, and then 
comes out the tailpiece and and pours onto the grass okay and probably at least moving from i would say at least six feet away from the building six to ten feet away before it starts to spill out same as on the other side of the building there's another one on the other side of the building so again this wraps up this is our look at another stack elevation drawing as compared to the first one this one does have a clothes washer or washing machine and it has a three compartment sink so a little bit of a difference here but mostly the same thing um, the only thing that we've added in this drawing as compared to part one is we've included the different fixtures and also we've now included the venting and the downspouts as part of our installation and or drawing and again that wraps it up part two of drawing a stack elevation